If you're building a performance BP engine for your Mazda MX-5 Miata, then you're probably considering a boundary engineering oil pump. That's a good choice, but let me tell you everything you need to know before you make your purchase. The boundary engineering oil pump lives behind your front damper. It's a great option for an upgrade on a performance engine where you're going to be seeing higher performance, higher revs, where the stock oil pump could potentially fail, the gears can fail and that's not good. You'll lose all oil pressure and effectively you'll lose your engine. The boundary pump gears are machined to very high tolerances and are a perfect fit inside the OEM casting, which is also supplied brand new from Boundary Engineering. However, there are a few different configurations that you need to be aware of. The non-VVT version of the pump comes with standard size gears but still upgraded performance, they're much stronger, and you can choose from a few different shim options to increase your peak oil pressure. The VVT version runs oversized gears for improved reliability, a stronger again pump, and again you can option in more shims for increased peak oil pressure. Each shim adds approximately six PSI to that pressure. Most people run between one and three shims. It depends on who supplies your pump and what sort of engine you're building and your engine application. In my case, I've gone with one shim as recommended by Track Speed Engineering. Now do keep in mind, if you're running a 1.6 short nose crank, you may need the smaller custom gear set to suit these pumps. Uh, make sure you check your engine first and get in touch with your supplier before you make your purchase. Now installation of these pumps is exactly the same as an OEM style pump. You adhere the pump to the block with some RTV or silicon type sealant and then torque it down to factory specs. Now there are a couple of things to keep in mind that people on places like the Miata Turbo forums have mentioned. The grub screw in the top of the pump here has been known to come loose or potentially leak. It's recommended to either sealant this grub screw in or even use the OEM one from your original pump and swap it into this point. And the front crank seal is for some reason known to leak Boundary had recently changed to using OEM front seals, which has hopefully reduced those chances of leaks, but check yours, it may leak, but there have been suggestions that even the OEM seal has been leaking somehow, which is odd. Perhaps they're going old and drying. Well, anyway, folks, that's been the Boundary Engineering Oil Pump. I hope that helps you out with your engine build. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.